Good day, everyone. Good day, good day, good day. Hey, look, I hope everyone is living their life to the fullest and your day is going well. Uneasy, dread, doubt, worryment, heebie-jeebies. These are all words, words like anxiety. Today's topic, anxiety. Anxiety affects both old and young people. It is reported that the adult population, the adult population, 18% is affected by anxiety. 25% of the younger population, ages 13 through 18, are affected by anxiety disorders. That's right, adult population, 18%. Younger population, ages 13 through 18, 25% are affected by anxiety disorders. You guys, those are some startling, those are some drastic, horrendous statistics, y'all. Horrendous statistics, right? Anxiety affects many people in many different ways, right? What is important, however, is this. What's more important is that young people may not even know they have anxiety, right? They might not even know they have anxiety. Anxiety makes you feel different, uneasy, and or nervous, and or nervous. Anxiety affects people in different ways. Anxiety also can have horrendous effects on your health. That's right, it can affect your health. I believe we need to look deeply into this thing called anxiety. I believe What's important is that we be able to identify, identify the problems, identify the, 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 the things that cause us anxiety, right? A lot of times anxiety is caused by a change in circumstances, caused by a change in circumstances. These instances, these instances can be monitored or recognize simply by understanding what makes you feel different or what makes you act differently in certain conditions or certain situations, okay? Certain situations make you feel different, make you act differently. What's also important is to realize that anxiety will affect you and the people around you. It will affect the people around you. The point I'm trying to make is this. Learn to recognize what makes you feel uncomfortable or nervous. Once you're able to identify what makes you uneasy, then you can begin to relax and get back to some normal things, right? As an example, if you're a loud blast or loud boom, you'll be startled for a moment, right? Your adrenaline will rush and be frightened for a moment. But then after you realize what's going on, you begin to relax, you begin to calm down, and then you begin to get back to some normalcy. But what happens, what happens if you don't relax? What happens if you continue to be frightened? What happens if you don't get back to some normalcy? The result could be anxiety or an anxiety attack, all right? So what I want you to do before I end this message, what I want you to do is I want you to learn to realize, learn to recognize what makes you uncomfortable. Once you're able to recognize what makes you uneasy, then you'll be able to calm down. This could be the first step in reducing or eliminating anxiety. All right, guys, that's all I have for today. My name is Terrell Richard Sr., a.k.a. Coach T, and I'll see you at the finish line.